thousand times before Baby, it's now or never Gotta leave this town And I know what you're asking for Well grazed down, so it's very handy. 
now the calls are today's a good day, today's a nice dry day. We've had a nice bit of rain now in fairness. We made a lot of rain now last night now. They made a lot of rain now last night, which I suppose it's all wanted. A bit of it anyway, not too much but for me, my land's kinda of wet so a little bit now and I'd be satisfied enough. But every farm is different. But the cows are content. They did struggle a bit in the heat, like I said before, so they're happy to kind of cool down a tiny bit. But the grass is definitely helping and <coughs> excuse me. It's just the grass is all stingy and they weren't gonna eat that. No, I will admit, my first time trying it, this thing now. And I have to say um, I was very quite impressed with the way it works. Because not a lot of people do, not, it's not a big thing, but it's becoming a big thing because a lot of people are trying it now and it's just the year is in it. That was stimmy. You know, like, I, I don't mind, like, we, I often done a paddock for surplus bales. With say, one or two paddocks maybe in the year that were going strong ahead of the cows. But this year, the way the grass is shot over the ground, they're all going too strong. And, like, my farm anyway, like what do you do? Like you, you can't cut them all out of it, like, you know, because you've got one sure, next paddock is the same. And I just said, look, this is double up as topping now. Might be a good idea, might be a bad idea, I don't know, but so far it seems to be working well for me anyway, the past couple of paddocks. Really has worked well, you know, and look, I'm just cutting with the uh, I'm just cutting it with this with the eight-foot disc more. That's all. Wrong gear. I'm just cutting it with the eight for this more. And I think it's a great job. It works well for me. Now, it might work well for everybody, but it, it, it's definitely working well for me. Like, that's my opinion on it. Pre mowing is working well for me. And the cows are content. So I've seen a few people do it for cattle before. It works for cattle as well, it probably would. But, um, the cows were just, gonna, were just trampling the grass and I started mowing, we, we just started mowing it out and we were all covering. This kind of stuff, probably if you had a few fields like this, as I said to myself before, might be a candidate for a zero grazer, maybe, I don't know, if you could graze, if you could, what I'd love to do if you had like a line of barriers outside the parlor, you could be drawn in the grass, the heavier grass and graze in the lighter covers, I don't know. That'll probably be an option, but it's easier to just cut them off the bales. If I had too many fields now, but this is, is the option for now. And some paddocks might get a light coat of slurry as well, because I have some slurry in the paddle time, so they might be getting a bit of that, they might be. I'll see how things go now, but I'm not giving them a lot of fertilizer, just about back to the acre because that's there's nice growth there now after the rain so they don't need much of it. It's a big help. So I'm gonna finish this off guys and when we're in the cows I'll show you what they've cleaned out and what they've eaten because it's really I think it's really um worked out for me. Some people might say I'm crazy. They probably do but sure am I being crazy if we don't show it. I know well there's a lot of people around the country doing pre mowing at the moment because there's a lot of people in the same situation as me with heavy covers of grass and it's probably the best way to do it. I don't find putting the crawl mower out here because I did, you know, the worst thing about grass I think is if you damage it, it's a, if the cows don't eat it as well when it's freshly cut. And I want dock leaves, has a perfect circle of dock leaves there, and the rest of the feed is not bad. So there's a circle of them there. I hate dock leaves. It's like Rangworth, I hate them. But anyway, um, now I did take about using the baler, bringing in a bale every day or two, but my yard isn't really suitable for that because they probably wouldn't even eat it. You know, you couldn't really, like I say, you have to drive them into the shed to feed them, and you know, it doesn't really work. This is better for me because I'm, I'm not wasting any grass and I'm not taking out a field. Look, people might say you're an idiot Tom, just take out two paddocks and be done with it and graze the rest of them tight. Yeah, that's fine, but I know well I will be caught the next time because I've taken out a field that I'm going to reseed already and I've taken out a field for the young calves 
So the younger ones, the older ones are back in the outer farm and the younger ones. So this is why I'm doing what I'm doing. So there's the logic behind it, there's a the logic behind everything because I'm down to paddocks anyway. They're not the biggest paddocks in the world but still there's probably four grazings in them. So that's still a couple of grazings like you know so you have to be prepared for, for anything like. So um and like I said you know, the, the disc mower is the right job for it really like it's just perfect and with the skids on it it's not cutting down bare and it's even a nice roll and see the jersey cow there now is eating a bit the rest of her line down she's the only one actually up eating actually yeah she is the only, the only one see the camera there yeah you see her big massive amount of grass in her mouth she's happy so guys i'm gonna keep mowing and i bring in the cows i'll show you what they beat Alright, so this is what I get now for tonight, this section here. Yeah, look. This is what I got, this is what I had on today. And what they normally do, I've noticed is that they eat so much out of that piece for tonight. And then they'll come back and clean up all this again. So they'll clean up all this excess grass here and tidy it up. All back there is all spotless, you know. I think it's working for me, honestly. The heavy covers the grass, I like they will come back and eat all this. And hopefully by when the field is finished, it's probably tomorrow, tomorrow night, and the following day. Well, that's tonight, tomorrow, and maybe, following day again I won't probably give them this field tomorrow night it mightn't be enough but I'd, I'd normally just give them the day and the day back over all of it we'll see might be all graced out who knows but um yeah, it's working well for me can't really fault it so we'll see how they go the rest of the paddocks because there is a lot more than tease complain about that you know it's pretty cleaned out so guys that's pre-mowing ahead of the cows different video but one I wanted to show you all just to and look get your opinion on as well if you do it at home sure let me know or if you have any opinions on our experiences of it being good or being bad or whatever you think but it, it, it's worked for me so far I'm happy with it. Guys, it's the end of the video. Quick one. Please um, give it a thumbs up and subscribe. And I'll see you all next Sunday. Next Sunday is actually a special video. I got something there during the week and um, yeah, it's interesting. So it could be an interesting one. So hopefully. So let's see how it goes. But guys, thanks for watching. I'll see you all again. Bye.